One minute he's dead. The next he slugs me, tricked you and bamboozed. Smart man. Smart? He's weird. I tell you, if I didn't know better, I'd swear we were doing business with Boris Karloff. Looks that way. Hello, and welcome to another bad movie review. Today I just finished watching Dick Tracy Meets Gruesome from 1947, the 65 minute film. It was brought to us by RKO Pictures. The plot is basically Master Criminal Gruesome is out of jail and looking for a big score. He meets up with a few associates, one of which is a scientist who has developed an airborne toxin that makes people freeze in place. Uh, the gang uses the gas to rob a bank of $100,000, which was a lot more money in 1947. Thankfully, Tess Trueheart is unaffected when she gets stuck in a phone booth in the bank. And, of course, Tess is Dick Tracy's girlfriend. She manages to alert Tracy, and the hunt is on. And this movie's a little different from Dick Tracy det Detective, which was in the the other movie in a double feature by Dollar Entertainment that I picked up on DVD. In case you listened to the previous broadcast I did about Dick Tracy Detective. But this is actually the fourth film that RKO did in their Dick Tracy series and the final one. Um, this one, the acting was much better. Um, Boris Karloff was awesome. Um, uh, I don't know why they necessarily named him gruesome other than the fact that there's probably a dick tracy character named that but he didn't wear any special makeup or anything they're basically just saying boris karloff is ugly which he looks a lot like ave bagoda if you remember the 70s ave ave, ave bagoda but I, I don't think he was that gruesome he just looked like a mean guy uh ralph bird did a really good job as dick tracy and ann gwynn did a spectacular job as tess trueheart um, obviously, since this is the 40s, there was a whole lot of gunplay. Why? Why not? Um, this was definitely aimed at a younger audience. Um, it, they tried to shoot for an all-ages sort of thing, but some of the names were a little silly, like Dr. Atomic, uh, Professor I.M. Learned, stuff like that. It was That was a little bit silly. Um... But overall, the the writing was pretty solid. Like I said, the acting was good. Um, they did use some recycled stock footage from various other films with police chases. That was pretty common practice back then, though. So I'm not going to fault them too heavily for that. What did annoy me was they recycled the same car chase scene from Dick Tracy Detective <laughs> from four years earlier. So that was... a. Uh, or two years, whatever it was, uh, a couple years earlier. That was kind of annoying, but like I said, that's pretty common. If you watch any trauma films, uh, like Sergeant Kabuki Man at NYPD, the same car goes off the pier probably 30 times <laughs> between all of their movies. Um, so yeah, that was my major complaint with the film. Otherwise, it was a much more lighthearted film than the previous one. Of Dick Tracy the Detective, that was much more film noir. This was a little more upbeat. Um, you did get the gag with uh, a rigid leg. Somebody had been exposed to the gas. Uh, it was gruesome, actually. And uh, his leg was stuck up in the air, so when they tried to push the leg down, he'd sit up. And that was a cute stunt. Um, they even made a Boris Karloff joke, which was... Um, that was kind of stupid, I'm not going to lie. But overall, this movie was a lot more lighthearted, a lot more fun. Uh, it was definitely more action-oriented. A um, couple more gunfights and car chase type things where people are running around fighting each other. So that was kind of nice. It was definitely a, a step up from Dick Tracy the Detective. Uh, I will be reviewing Dick Tracy's Dilemma and Dick Tracy vs. Cue Ball when I get a copy of them, which uh, they're on order, so they should be here soon. So I'll review those as soon as I can. I'm supposed to get uh, cue ball tomorrow, uh, but we'll see. We'll see if it comes in or not. If it does, I will review it. Um, otherwise, this one was a lot more fun uh, than Dick Tracy Detective, I thought. And I would recommend this one more than Detective. Although Detective had the noir elements, this one was... Definitely much more aimed at young 
men, um, teenagers probably from that time period. And I think it's a better representation of what youth cinema was at the time. And if you're looking to complete your comic or comic strip movie collection, this would definitely be an addition. So overall, I thought this was a fun film. Uh, Boris Karloff was awesome as always. And he really made the movie, I think. Um, Ralph Bird did a good job. He, d he was much better than uh, Morgan Conway, I thought, for Dick Tracy. He, he looked more of the part. And he did wear the yellow trench coat, or at least a light-colored one. The movie's in black and white, so I can't really tell. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm going to have to give this a recommendation. It was a fun film. It's only 65 minutes long. So if you're looking to kill an hour and you want to watch some uh, gunplay and pseudo-superheroic mystery men action, this would be your film. Uh, Tracy was not as much um, as a detective as he was sort of the protagonist hero type. There wasn't a whole lot of clues to put together per se. It was just more of a... Uh, low budget action film so if you're looking for something from the 40s to watch i'd recommend this one i know it's on dvd and vhs like i said i got my copy on a uh, dvd from dollar entertainment it's a double feature two entertaining great detective classics with dick tracy detective and dick tracy meets gruesome um there are two more movies like i said that are sandwiched between these two but as near as I can tell, you don't need to watch them in order. That's why I'm not reviewing them in order. And that and I'm lazy. So that'll do it for today. Um, be sure and check back next time and uh, check out the other Dick Tracy reviews. I'll be doing the others, including the uh, 1990 Warren Beatty film. I'll be doing that one here shortly. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for listening and be sure and check out the other uh, broadcasts I have. And uh, give us a thumbs up if you like it. And if you like what you're hearing, subscribe. Thank you very much.